everybody. Welcome back to the program. Hello. We're on dad book. Who so should we go for go. first? <laughs> we already fucked one of these dads. Already fucked Robert. Hold on, I need this thing as a mouse pad. Alright. Who we go for first? I don't know. I'll close my eyes so you can pick. Hmm. Dad of three, business entrepreneur, and fitness enthusiast juggling work, family, and fitness is a tough gig. But someone's got to do it. On a Friday night, you're most likely to get one last good cardio session in. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? A box of energy bars. What are your turn-ons? A sub-six-minute mile. What? Messaging. What did you want to be when you grew up? A beer pong world champion. Favorite movie genre? Buddy cop movies. Ideal date, scaling a huge dangerous mountain for fun. And then laying on fire, that'd be the arson part. Yeah, that what do you never leave home without? An extra tube of energy gel. I spent a lot of time thinking about my mile time used to be so good. What happened? Have I peaked? That's the gym. Oh, I can give him hearts. It's rude to ask people about their mysterious hand tattoos. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Be sure to sweep <laughs> under your tent so you don't sleep on rocks. I wish that, I wish that dad tip loaded before... Yeah. Fucking liquor before beef. You're in the clear. What? <laughs> Is it yeah, liquor it's before to be beer? But we're dads. I wonder what Craig's up to today. Me too. <laughs> I navigate to Craig's dad book page and type out a message. Hey, bro, or should I say neighbor? Let's catch up neighbor? like old times. Neighbor. Neighbor. I'm just uh, saying that would be a good version. Yeah, a couple of moments pass before I hear a ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Bro, my man, let's definitely hang soon. Might be a little different from our old weekend long benders, but it'll still be fun. I think for a moment this could be a fun opportunity to see my old buddy in his new element. We exchange a couple more messages and he logs off to prep for the game. I should see if Amanda wants to join me. I walk over to Amanda's room and knock on the door. Yo, Amanda Panda! Such a cute name. Yeah. I open the door and find Amanda sitting cross-legged on the floor, surrounded by magazines and newspaper clippings. She's doing, like, some conspiracy shit? Her eyes. Yeah. She seems to be making some sort of art piece, but... Her eyes are a little puffy. Almost as if she'd been crying. Dad powers, activate! Hey, you alright? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I just got sad because I realized that dogs are too often killed off in movies to elicit emotional reactions from the audience instead of being given the respect that they deserve. Have you been watching JoJo again? It's not, it's not right. You sure that's all you're upset about? If there's, you know, anything going on, I just want you to know that I'm here for you. And I'll always be here for you. Whether you need a shoulder to cry on or a strong dad to go kick someone's butt, I'm only a phone call away. Thanks, Popsicle. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, that's... I appreciate that. But I'm fine, really. I'm unconvinced, but I'll if stop If I ever have a daughter her. in my future and she somehow stumbles across these videos and starts talking to me like this, <laughs> I'm discommunicating her. <laughs> I don't think so hurt. It's not, and I don't care. It's like excommunicating. Yeah. Excommunicating. I'm a dad. I'll make up words. But that's also not the word either. It's disowning. That also is true. Excommunicating is like a church. True. She's not a church. <laughs> she could be. Okay. I'm sure she'll tell me when she's ready. We're in a church. What you working on? What you working on? Oh, just a collage for class. Sorry. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. I, I take a closer look at her college. Yeah. That's a lot of dogs. Her, her college. Her. <laughs> it's most... Her coolage. Her coolage. <laughs> it's mostly dwarfs. Yeah. Let's like drop the bass for that. It's mostly dwarfs. Did you need something? Craig invited us to a softball game. Wanna go? Oh. Remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you bought me all the gear and then you took me for the first game and then someone hit a ball toward me and I just ran off of the field crying. And then you hid in the dugout and would scream if I tried to pick you up, yes? I was afraid of baseballs! I thought you were a gigantic sentient softball! 
So does that mean you don't want to go? Amanda gets up and looks me dead in the eyes, determined. I'm finally ready to face my fears. Head on! Let's do this! Amanda and I make the short drive out to the local softball field. For a kid's softball game, it's pretty packed. We clamber up the bleachers and take our seat on the top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. So when did the kids start crying and running off the field? You know that your relationship with softball is different from everyone else's relationship with softball, right? Okay, but if I don't see some kids cry, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. That's pretty disturbing. <laughs> I mean, I, Her I, dad's into arsony. Yeah. You know? For nostalgia purposes, of course. Not because I take joy out of children fighting for my amusement. Good Wink. save. <laughs> Definitely not that. <laughs> The game starts and the kids run out of the field. I see Pete's bane of existence by the dugout with a clipboard. <laughs> he has River strapped to his chest as per usual. There's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. I guess that's the mascot. Reading the, the kids' pancakes? brightly colored jerseys. <laughs> I, <laughs> they could be the flapjacks, come on. Oh, they're the flapjacks, there you go. Oh, wow. I, <laughs> cool. I see that it's the Maple Bay, Maple Bay flapjacks hey, against the Pinewood hey, Ocelots. Hey, hey. Go Flapjacks. Joke up on the bat, Miranda! <laughs> yeah, Miranda, square up! How much do you know about softball? Enough to know that the balls are relatively hard despite their name. But yelling is fun. Give it a shot, it's cathartic. This one's gonna be you, boy. What are you willing to sacrifice to win? Leave it all out on the field, Miranda. If you want this, you're going to have to bleed oh my for it. God. Those fucking eyes. Come on. Leave it on the field, Miranda. If you're going to want this win, you're going to have to bleed for it. Who well, I assume to be Miranda's father gives me a dirty look. I yeah. shoot it back at him. That attitude isn't going to bring Miranda. He's got a real dirty him. look. Dad, please don't fight any other dads while we're out here. Ow. Sorry. That was me, though. <laughs> we watch a couple of innings of softball. We aren't ready for the major leagues yet, but Craig's trained his team pretty well. Seems like he's really good with kids. Keg Stan Craig is good with children. Whoa. It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one has run off the field crying yet. Amanda, dear, you have to let it go. Let what go? I'm perfectly fine. The opposing team is up at bat. They hit a fly ball out into the center field. Tiny little girl tries to get onto the ball, but it misses her glove and hits her straight in the forehead. See? It's a completely justifiable fear! A girl plops down on the grass time. and starts <laughs> crying. Craig makes a beeline to her, checking her forehead and comforting her until her parents arrive. Carries her off of the field as she sobs. Man, it's strange to think about how this was the guy who once backflipped off of a roof and into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's That's so impressive. Responsible now. <laughs> That's impressive. I want to see that. Yeah, can we, can we have a flashback? Can we get some real animation in this game other than blinking? <laughs> the game resumes after the girl calms down a bit and we watch the couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The Ocelots seem to have given up by this point. I see one outfielder eating fistfuls of grass. <laughs> nah, he's just smoking weed. A batter on the other team Ebus. knocks a foul ball into the stands. I follow the trajectory and... Oh no, it's coming right for me! Oh no, 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 no
Hey, killer playing out there. Yeah, you guys rule. Thank, Thank you. you. You guys are twins, huh? So which one of you is the evil one? Hazel. Yeah, it's me. Good looking out. Do you guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if I did, I'd be doing that constantly. Yeah, I take all of her math tests. And I usually throw rocks and stuff, at, at, and when people get mad, I tell them, I'm, I'm Briar. What? <laughs> we will <laughs> talk about this later. Gorkrup, brah. I just got a couple more things to clean up, then we can hang. Sounds good. Got those eyes. Every time he pops on the screen, <laughs> it's a thing of nightmares. Want to have a staring contest? Oh, gosh. <laughs> just then, one of the moms jumps into the conversation. Oh, God, it's Janet. That would have been perfect for Janice. <laughs> oh well. You want you want to make the name? Make the voice. Not so fast. There you go. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. Uh, I, I oh, don't my know God. if I can. Yeah. That baby's like d done with shit. I don't know if I can. That sense. The girls won. What sort of celebration I can we have without like our fearless thick. leader? She's like that thick mom. <laughs> not like the good thick. Yeah, like, like, like a little too much pizza like in celebration. Kyle's thick. mom. Like she celebrated the team on TV losing by like one point. So she just ate so much pizza. She lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo goo eyes. Man, this mom is laid and on thick. 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 Extra thick. Extra thick. And I share a look. All right, all right. Is it cool if my bro comes along? The mom looks slightly put out, but covers it up with a smile. I would too if I looked over and saw Gorkrup. <laughs> you mind if my bro comes with me? <laughs> <laughs> Can I come? Can I? Of course. Of course. Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza. That's a terrible name for a pizza place. Yeah. You think that'd be for like a like a. Like a juice bar. <laughs> Anyone for a juice, juice bar? bar? <laughs> what? What? It's a real place! An endless stream of girls clad in softball gear pile out of a minivan and into a local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Man and I trail behind them with Greg. Reminds me. <laughs> Are you alright? Reminds me of all the awful pizza we could put into our bodies back in the day. Go ahead, speak, oh. Craig. There we go. Remember how we used to just fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside? <laughs> ah, pizzacos. I could never forget. How did we survive college? <laughs> our bodies were younger back then, more elastic, more able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. The good old days. The kids run around playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple slices of mediocre pizza. Like, literally jump on them. Ah! Hey. Give me a pizza, that. <laughs> no! Absolutely not! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. That's for addressing the issue. Oh, oh, my phone's already going off or something. It's weird. Oh my god, they're gonna hear my Stevo. Dad! <laughs> A different mom walks up to us, talking to the, Craig. She closes the door. Okay, great. Dad! <laughs> As if we weren't even there. What was with that one sentence? Give me a piece of that. It was a pun. Give me a piece of that. Got it. How dare you? I, I, How so, dare you? That just be, just because I'm a pun man doesn't mean they all dare you. don't Who's go Martha? Over my head. What? Who's someone? Craig, thank you so I'm much for Cosmos looking here. after our kids. <laughs> Hi, my daughter Tony. tells me every day about how great you are. Oh, I'm happy to look after them. It definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's been so hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know that my children have a strong 
male role model in their lives. Man and I look at each other again. Craig gets it from all the angles, huh? <laughs> Craig <laughs> smiles bet. sheepishly. Thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the mom in what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone here. Tag team with Amanda sound. My mind's in the gutter. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. It says you, mister. Beginning of this game. You got real creepy, man. I give Amanda. No, 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 stop. As she hits me back with a knife. No. She understands. Amanda puts a hand to her stomach and looks at me with puppy dog eyes. Dad, I don't feel so good. I think I ate too much pizza. Oh, no, sweetie. You're not going to projectile vomit everywhere, are you? Yeah, I think I'm going to projectile vomit everywhere right now. The words projectile vomit and right now usually seem to get everyone to clear out, but Martha's not budging. Back it up, Martha. You're in the splash zone. I drank a lot of orange juice this morning and it's feeling pretty acidic. You'll be fine. Fuck off, Cosmo. Amanda shoots me a worried look. This con is going sideways. Should have known that a mom of all people would know the fake puke scam. Uh, well... I guess it went away, and I'm fine now, and nothing's wrong. She turns her back on me to talk to Craig. So I'm taking Hazel and Briar tonight for the sleepover? Yep, they're pretty excited about it. You'll keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course. But I can always use help watching after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. Wow. Uh, stay this away from me. Really going for the gold. <laughs> It'll actually be nice to have a night to myself and River, but thanks for the invite. Is uh, River a boy or a girl name? Uh, Is that a girl name? Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. Martha angrily turns her attention towards her daughter. Tiffany! Timmy! <laughs> Not another arcade machine! I swear if we have to buy it! Shit, how many arcade machines are in that woman's house? Martha storms off towards her kid. She seems nice. Yeah, the team is one big weird family. Takes all sorts, right? <laughs> Tiffany, don't eat the tokens! Tiffany's a stellar hitter. Yeah. I finally think I have time to talk to Craig now. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Only on days like today, I hope. Dad! Hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat our record on DDR? We told Ariana's that... Grande? Ariana's dad that you could destroy, destroy him on the dance mat. Please help. Girls, you know I don't have my jukes anymore. But, Dad... Greg looks at me like a hurt puppy. Sorry, dudes. Duty calls. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. It's all good, buddy. Craig runs off with his daughters, and I'm left alone with mine. And I was really hoping to hang out with Craig more today. It seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. It definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might be a third wheel here. There's worse places than an arcade to be left to be to your own devices. You're right. Ugh. Wanna drop some coin on pinball? You know it! I wonder if it takes Bitcoin. Amanda and I pull up to a machine that's feeling pretty hot. Get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull out a decent score and then challenge Amanda to top mine. And immediately she gets multi-ball. Looks like she takes after her father. You're pretty good. Don't patronize me! Hey, just trying to pay a compliment. Amanda shushes me. She's in her zen zone. She fights valiantly, racking up points by the millions. She's this close to beating my score, but I feel honored just being able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? I had to remember. Yeah, I know. Janet from earlier walks up and leads on the pinball machine. Uh, yeah. We went to college. We went together. to college! Please, don't lean on my thing. <laughs> huh, that's so interesting. So, do you know if he's like. Available. Get away from my man. Oh, I honestly don't know if I could say 
Seriously, you're gonna make it tilt. Because it's just... It seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it would be great if he... Lady, I swear to God! All of a sudden, a buzzer sound and the game is over. Janet made the pinball machine tilt. You stone hoppy! What? I said, I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that'll hurt your feelings! Amanda. Bro! Bro! What's going on? Now's our chance! If we don't get out of here now, we're stuck for the rest of the night! I wrangle Amanda and say some quick goodbyes with Craig. We head out of the pizza place finally. Amanda promises that she'll keep the couch warm for me and heads home. Hope you don't mind me bringing you back here, bruh. Not at all, dude. It's good to finally get you all to myself for a second. And that is where we're cutting you people off. You have a lot of dads, but we got more in the next episode. Bye. Did you think about that one all the entire part? That, that outro? No. Oh. I just... Off the old noodle. That's a very old noodle. I'm a good noodle. I'm a... I'm the maniac.